Hi and welcome back. Today I am finally doing a highly requested Sculptra update. I had my first Sculptra injection about a year ago. Back then I took you with me to share my experience. And then about three months after my first injection, I made an update video after having had three injections. If you missed these videos, I will link them down below. Now, the reason I got Sculptra in the first place is that over the last couple of years, I've lost quite a bit of volume in the lower part of my face. I'm not quite sure if some of this volume loss is due to some procedures I've had over the last few years. So about two and a half, three years ago, I had two fractional laser treatments, which create quite a bit of heat. And then about a year and a half ago, I had three radiofrequency microneedling sessions. So again, I'm not quite sure if some of this volume loss is due to these procedures or if this is just how my face decided to age. I haven't lost a significant amount of weight. I haven't changed my diet or my exercise regime. So this might just be how my face wants to age or some of it might be due to these procedures. Now, Sculptra is not a filler, but a biostimulator. So it stimulates our body to produce its own collagen. It has been around for quite a while. Sculptra was FDA approved in 1999, and then in 2004, it was approved as a treatment to correct facial fat loss in patients with HIV. So unlike filler, which is usually hyaluronic acid, Sculptra is poly-L lactic acid, or PLLA, which is a biocompatible and biodegradable substance commonly found in dissolvable stitches, which is gradually absorbed by the body. On the Sculptra website, it says that Sculptra works with your body within the deep dermis to help revitalize collagen production and help restore your skin's inner structure and volume. It goes on to say that as the Sculptra poly-L lactic acid microparticles are absorbed, they help stimulate collagen production and this newly built collagen helps restore facial volume and the look of fullness to wrinkles and folds over time. Now all of this sounded perfect to me and when I first set out on my Sculptra adventure, I had in my mind that I needed three treatments using one vial each. So here in Paris with my provider, Dr. Guzman, one vial of Sculptra is 600 euros, which is around $650 right now. So in my mind, I thought I was going to have three treatments using one vial per treatment at 600 euros. So that is 1800 euros. However, if you look at my before and after pictures, after three months, you can see that really not much happened. There is a tiny bit of a difference. However, I'm not sure this tiny difference was worth spending 1800 euros. However, at this point I was hooked. I was sort of like a drug addict, thinking just one more hit, just one more hit. So after three vials, I thought four vials and that's it. After four vials, I thought one more and that's it. So altogether, I had seven treatments using eight vials total. So Dr. Guzman, my provider, likes to just use one vial at a time because she says it is better to under treat than to over treat, which I completely agree with. However, in one treatment, she did give me two vials. So again, I had seven treatments using eight vials total. Now, if you do a quick math, eight times 600 euros is a lot of money. And would I have known going into this that it would end up costing me that much? I would not have done it. But let's take a look at my before and after pictures and see if it was indeed worth it. So these before and after pictures were taken at Dr. Guzman's office with natural daylight. At first glance, I really don't see much of a difference. However, when I look a bit closer at the lower part of my cheeks, I do see a tiny bit more fullness in the after picture. And I also see a tiny bit of improvement in my under eye area. 
So Dr. Guzman does not inject Sculptra into the under eye area because one risk with Sculptra is the development of granulomas. And since the skin under the eyes is quite thin, was a granuloma to develop, you could definitely see it. But Dr. Guzman did inject just a tiny bit of Sculptra in two different sessions into my temple area, which then actually affected my under eye area a tiny bit. Now looking at myself smiling, again at first glance I don't see a huge difference, but taking a closer look at my lower cheek area, I can see that in the before picture, the vertical lines created when smiling, I think we call them accordion lines, are definitely more pronounced than they are in the after picture. And there is again a tiny bit more fullness in the lower part of my cheeks in the after picture. As far as the under eye area, smiling, I really can't see a difference. And then when we look at the left side of my face, again, I do see a tiny bit more fullness in my lower cheek area. And again, in this after picture, I can also see a tiny bit of improvement in my under eye area. And looking at the left side of my face smiling, again, I can see that the accordion lines are improved. They are not as thick nor deep. And again, there is a tiny bit more fullness in the lower cheek area. And then as far as my under eye area, I see a tiny bit of improvement. My crow's feet seem to be a little less pronounced and maybe there is just a tiny bit less skin crinkling under the eye. And then when we look at the right side of my face, so the right side of my face I feel is more sunken in than the left side of my face. I always think the right side of my face looks about five years older than the left side of my face. And looking at the before and afters here, I definitely don't see as much of a difference as I saw on the left side. But I do see again that my accordion lines are less pronounced. There is maybe a tiny bit more fullness in the lower cheek area. But as far as my under eye area on this side, I can't say I am seeing any difference. And then the right side of my face not smiling, I really don't see much difference at all maybe a tiny bit more fullness in the lower cheek area. As far as the under eye area, it's really hard to say if I see anything in this before and after. Now keep in mind the under eye area again is not something Dr. Guzman treated. If there is an improvement in the under eye area, it is from injecting just a tiny bit of sculpture into my temples to fill out that hollowness a little bit as well. So these are my before and after pictures taken about one year after my first Sculptra injection. Again, for these results, I had seven treatments and eight vials of Sculptra total. Now, these pictures were taken before I started using Adipo. And if you're not familiar with what Adipo is, I made a video on it. Adipo is a cream which promises to help restore facial fat loss. I am still not sure if it actually works or not. I am still trying it out, but I took these pictures before I started using Adipo, just in case there actually is some extra volume. We don't have to guess, is it from the Sculptra or the Adipo? So again, these pictures were taken before I started using Adipo, about one year after my first Sculptra injection, after eight vials total. I have to say I'm a bit disappointed. Now, the thing I notice the most is a thickening of my dermis. You know when you put on lotion or wash your face and there's just a lot of extra skin moving around? I definitely used to have that. Now when I wash my face or put on lotion, there's a lot less extra skin moving around. And I can actually see this thickening of my dermis really well in moving images. So if you take a look at this video I took about two years ago, if you look at the lower part of my face, you can see how thin my skin is and how many accordion lines I create when smiling and talking. Versus when I look at myself now, smile or talk, I do think this is much improved. And by the way, I don't normally sit around scrutinizing over every single flaw and imperfection I have. It is something I'm doing for the sake of this video, but it's not something I normally do and I really hope you don't either. I'm a big believer in learning to love ourselves, unconditionally, flaws and all. It took me a very long time to even learn to begin to love myself. 
It is a path I'm finally on, one that is very important to me and I don't ever want to compromise. But of course, all of us want to be beautiful and attractive. There's nothing wrong with that. But like I said, I don't normally sit around looking for every single flaw and I really hope you don't either. And I really also hope that I never put any sort of insecurity onto you. That being said, like I said, I can see that there is definitely an improvement as far as thickening of my dermis. But as far as filling in this last volume, I am a bit disappointed. Now, some of you speculated that I might not have gotten better results with Sculptra because I exercise too much, I don't get enough protein, I eat a vegan diet, who knows what. And that might well be. All of us are different. We all have different lifestyles, different genetics. What works for one doesn't necessarily work for somebody else. I do think this sculpture worked for me. Like I said, I can definitely see a thickening of my dermis. I just didn't get as much volume as I wanted to. And that might be partially lifestyle, genetics, or I just have a lot of volume loss and I might just need more treatments. Now, I also got some very strange comments on my face which I guess is to be expected. I am talking about my face, but I was told I should stop using so much cheek filler. I was told it is very obvious that I have cheek implants, even a chin implant. Now, because I am so sunken in here, these bones stick out more. They are bone. There is no filler there, no implant. This is my German jaw. This is the face God gave me. There is nothing I can do about it. So, like I said, I'm not quite sure why I didn't get even better results with Sculptra. Some of you told me you had great results after just a couple of vials. Some of you told me you needed 8 or 10 vials. Again, we are all different. Now, as far as keeping up doing maintenance. So it is suggested that once you have the volume you are happy with, you do a yearly maintenance session. Part of me is thinking I have spent so much money already, why not do maintenance sessions? The other part is thinking I have spent so much money, why do maintenance sessions? So I'm not quite sure if I will or not. I will definitely keep you posted. One thing I have been really curious about for quite a while is threads. So threads like Sculptra are poly L lactic acid or a similar material. And like Sculptra, they can help produce collagen and give some volume, but they can also give a slight lift. So threads is something I have been really curious about, but I've also heard so many mixed things about them. So I wanted to ask your opinion. Have any of you had threads? If so, what was your experience? Did you like it? Did you not? Do you have any tips or tricks? Please let us know down below. And also, was I to get threads, which I'm not sure about, but was I to get threads, would you want me to bring you along and share my experience and of course my results afterwards? Let me know down below. So this is it for my sculpture update. I hope this was helpful, entertaining. Any questions or comments, please leave them down below. You know, I always love to hear from you. And thank you so, so much for being here. Until next time, bye.